Hi, my name is Betsy Webb. I'm the superintendent of the Bangor School Department. And today, Principal Brian Bannon is going to interview me about the transition back to school. So Dr. Webb, a lot of students have been in summer mode. The end of school, the end of summer is fast approaching, the new school is coming here. So as we're thinking about the transition back, initially, what are some ideas you have that parents can do beforehand? Let's start at the elementary schools to get students prepared to come back to school on September 1st. It's a great question, and I have to say I have many parents that ask mm -hmm. me about how can you have a successful transition back to school. You know, I think although there are differences from elementary to high school, mm -hmm. there is one similar thing, and that is start to go back to your school routine. Mm -hmm making sure that bedtime, um, waking up time, meal times start to mirror what it's going to be like for that school year. Mm -hmm. I think all of us have had vacation time when we've stayed up late and then Monday morning it's very difficult to get our body back into pattern. So I think an important one is to start to establish those routines. Another one is to you know, start to talk at a low key, mm -hmm. but um, how you're excited about the upcoming school year and talk to your children about what are some of their hopes and dreams about the school year. I truly believe that all children, all children, want to have a great school year. Mm -hmm. And so talk to them about those things because that allows the child to advocate what do they need out of the year. Another thing is to start with uh, reading, um, whether having read-alouds where parents read to um, their children and amazingly the research says that you can read aloud even to high school students and they uh, benefit from that. Uh, another thing is playing family games, um, having fun. That's the important thing, no tears, no tears, right. fun. You know, are there things you can do with fact fluency or um, putting challenges to students. Are you able to take these 10 items and put them into three equal groups mm -hmm. and when they can't, what do they say? Yeah. So, you know, just having fun and, and start to get your brain activated again. Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned uh, communicating with teachers and with the school and uh, as a principal I know one of the things that we really enjoy is communication with the community, getting phone calls from parents who have students who are coming to the school, either new to the school or new to the district. So what would you say to parents or families who are new to a school or new to a district and want to start that conversation, what might be some opening questions they could ask? Oh, great idea. I, I think the first thing is to make a phone call and just say you're looking forward to the school year, Do you, you know, what kinds of things can you do? Like one of the things that I would recommend is driving to the school, showing the student the new school. You can walk around from the outside. Elementary children are able to, you know, play on the playground with their parent right there. Um, if, if many of our schools are open from 8 to 3, um, Monday through Friday, to walk through and see if the principal's there, to introduce yourselves. But um, just like adults, children want to see the facility that they're going to be in. And just, you know, visiting and walking through, having a picnic on the playground, those are great things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. What would you recommend? We talked a little about elementary. When you're thinking of the upper levels, six to eight, nine through twelve, the routines are so important. The transition is so just as important. The students a little different. What are some other things you could do at maybe the six, eight level to help with that transition? Again, I think it's listening to them, talking to them. Mm -hmm. What are some of your hopes for the upcoming year? Let's set some goals. Mm -hmm. What are things that you want to accomplish? Um, we have a goal about having students involved in at least two extra co-curricular activities and anything they choose is a good choice. It doesn't matter what they choose, it should be their choice. But, you know, talking to them, I, in fact I have a, a nephew who's in middle school in Bangor and I just started the conversation, what activities are you going to be in this year? And he said, well, you know, I'm thinking about this, but I've never done it before. And I just said, oh, well, I know they offer that at the school, and here's the people that I think you should talk to. But really just starting them to have them have that conversation about, you know, what, what about something new? What are the things that you want to do that you've done in the past? Where are your strengths? Where do you want to improve? And 
linking it to their future story. Mm -hmm. We know from research it's so important that they start to have a vision of where they want to go. Those visions will change. That's normal. Mm -hmm. That's so normal. But it's that knowledge of here I am, mm -hmm. this is what I think I want to do, and how do I start to get there. Right. So uh, one of the other important things has to do with transportation. So um, where would a parent go, for example, to find out about where their child has to be at a bus stop, if it's a new bus stop especially, or they're on a different bus route, how can they go about getting that information to help them? That's another way to alleviate that mm -hmm. um, first day jitters and, and all the that comes with those butterflies that we mm -hmm. feel when we start school. And students out there know that the adults still get butterflies too. Absolutely. And I always say um, the first day of school, I love that feeling because it's that excitement. Um, but I think an important thing is to figure out your to school and then from school to home mm -hmm. transportation. Um, on our website, there is the bus routes, mm -hmm. and you can look right through it and it will tell you where the stops are. But I think it's important, again, to walk students to the bus stop prior to the start of school, um, have parents show the student where the stop is, mm -hmm. We recommend that they stay 10 yards back from the actual stop for safety reasons. So giving them a geographical uh, point mm -hmm. to say this is where you stand and you wait for the bus. When the bus stops, opens the door, that's when you proceed forward. Um, if you're a walker, mm -hmm. I think it's important to walk to school and to show them the route that you mm -hmm. want them to take. Um, and when they come home, the exact same thing, yeah. looking for safety points, yeah. where are the crossing guards, that kind of thing. Um, if you're going to be driving them to school, even showing them where the student drop-off mm -hmm. is yeah. and what the yeah. expectation is for them to walk yeah. into the building or onto the yeah. playground. Just, again, practicing routines. Sure. I had a mentor once, and I think he was... Um, sharing with me the quote from John Wooden and move slowly in order to go quickly mm -hmm. and basically the whole idea that if you learn the routine and you mm -hmm. learn it well right. as yeah. humans we follow it yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, and that's a good thing and yeah. just to take those times to figure out what will transportation look like mm -hmm. make sure they know it make sure mm -hmm. um, that they know what to do mm -hmm. if, if something you know happens Absolutely. let's say a, a street is blocked off, mm -hmm. now what do I do? Right. Those yeah, kinds of absolutely. things. Yeah. So we've talked about the before school transitions. Let's say end of the first day, student comes home, what should that conversation be about how things went to help as far as moving forward with the rest of the school year? Yeah, again, it's questions and listening. Mm -hmm. How did your first day go? Mm -hmm. Is there something exciting that happened mm -hmm. or that you want to share with me about that? Was there something you were concerned about? Is, are there any questions you have about your first day that I can help find the answer for you? Maybe as a parent you don't know that answer, but you certainly can call the school and we'd be glad to answer. Yeah. Um, there's a lot that is said in the literature about the importance of a good start to the mm -hmm. school year. So, and, and yet we know that people perceive things sure. differently or Absolutely. whatever, uh, we need to know. We need that, as you said, open line of communication where parents are talking to school and we're all figuring out how to make it a great school year for Absolutely. each student. Yeah. 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 So we've talked a lot about what parents can do. What about what kids can do? What can they do? Great. Great <laughs> one. I love that. I think the big thing, the message that I would like to give to students is, and, and I would say it to my staff as well, make each day great. Mm -hmm. And how you do that, it doesn't mean that every day will be great, mm -hmm. but you know, show up. Mm -hmm. Great things happen when you come to school and you know the the work ethic and success later on in life it depends upon today. Mm -hmm. So really making sure that you're there, bring a positive attitude and um, look to others to help when things are difficult. Just just ask for support. You have so many adults mm -hmm. that want to help you, and um, that's normal. Yeah. Sometimes things don't go as we plan, Absolutely. and we need help, and yeah. it's okay to ask for yeah. help. Great. Good. Okay. So then I guess as far as um, students, they, they can ask questions of teachers, places they can go to. I think we want to remind them 
they can go to a guidance counselor, they can ask anyone in the building, an administrator, the secretaries, anybody if they have questions, if they, they need any kind of help as well. So when they go in that first day, um, what might be some questions they don't want to ask up here if they've never been to the school before? What might be some things they want to know about the building? Yeah, I think um, talking to other students about, you know, um, can you show me where the cafeteria is? Or can you tell me about the playground? Where are we able to um, play? I hope the adults are also sharing that, but sometimes uh, children would prefer to speak to other children, and that's okay. Um, I'm very proud of Bangor students. Uh, when we look at the number of assessments we've done, what I find is that they are very caring towards each other and that they want to help. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, um, and they're very accepting and they really honor what I call our code of conduct mm -hmm. of being responsible, being honest, having ambition, being caring. And I, I think that other students will find that. Yeah. I have had the joy of uh, touring schools with families that are new to Bangor. Yeah. And I've watched uh, the way the current Bangor students reach out to new families. Yeah. And really, it, it's special because parents and students that I'm bringing through the buildings will say, tell me about this school. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who they stop at the hallway, they get a very positive response. So, you know, if you are someone and you want to know where to sit at lunch or who to play with yep. on the playground, certainly go to the adults mm -hmm. for help, or I guarantee students will yeah. help as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Well, we look forward to a great 2016-2017 school year. I do think that some of these transitional um, activities will help. Mm -hmm. And if any parent wants other ideas, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you.